Let's discuss now on Joy News today with me, Muftaw Nabila Abla. The Ghana Football Association has received about $9.5 million from FIFA for participating in the FIFA World Cup in Qatar last year. They have written to the Ministry of Youth and Sport and uh, earmarks what they want the money to be used for. The Minister of Youth and Sport, Mr. Fawusif, says that he's also forwarded the letter to the presidency and he's had waiting uh, advice from the chief of staff of the presidency. I had a conversation with the Ghana Athletic Federation led by Bawa Fuseni and uh, they have put in the team together and I'm very confident that the team will go to Budapest and do us a uh, 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 honor again, just like they did in Oregon in the USA, where they did so well, uh, the, especially the Quartet team, was, uh, they performed splendid performance. And I have, a com very, very, I have confidence that even going to Budapest, they will even do better. Uh, as a country, we are giving them all the necessary support uh, to ensure that their, their participation becomes very successful. One of the things that I remember speaking to Bauer was the fact that they needed to be able to come the athletes. Have you had such a conversation in the ministry? Um, put uh, the FA have written and indicated to us that they've received the prize money, and I've mentioned it that the prize money has arrived, but they have no control of how it is being utilized. They would have wished that they have all the money to invest in sports development, but we should understand that the country invested heavily in our pre uh, preparation in the qualification period to be even qualified aside that and also the participation. So what we have, we have requested, we have requested to the Chief of Staff to give us direction and we have given various options aside that there is also precedent that we have to follow. 2006, the, the state took 50% of the prize money. In 2010, the state took 100% of the prize money. In 2014, the state, the state took 50% and gave some 50% uh, for, the, for, for the GFA and the ministry to use it for AFCON in 2015. And in 2020, we are yet to get approval from the, uh, uh, the, the presidency on how it is going to be utilized. And once we get the confirmation, we'll, we'll make it public. It's been 40 years since Ghana last won the African Cup of Nations. Legendary commentator uh, Joe Latte Sr., who commentated on Ghana's success in all the four Afghan titles the country won, says that the, uh, Ghana's failure to win the competition is not just disappointing, but also painful. Yes, it's painful, not disappointed alone. It's painful that we have it. But I think, as I said, if we do, if if we do a few things right, just a few things right, I think we can. Because football appears to be in our blood. It's part of us. So let's see what, what can be done. I've told you I want to meet uh, the head, the president, Clay Cook, and then we talk. And I hope sincerely, I pray that you know, when you are cutting the, the path, when it's crooked, you don't see it. It's a man sitting elsewhere who, so I hope he may take some of the things I'll tell him to her. Uh, and Prime Take will be coming your way at 7.30 p.m. on this channel on Saturday. This is our wrap-up sports here on Join News today with me, Muftar Nabila Abdullah.